What's up guys, this is The Honest Outlaw here and today we're gonna be doing another reliability test. Uh, I just posted the video of the M&P a little, a little while back, like two days ago or something, and uh, I plan on doing the Glock 17 as well. This is the Glock 17 Gen 3 by uh, Vickers Tactical. It fires a nine millimeter round. It's semi-automatic, striker fired pistol. And uh, we're gonna be using Freedom Munitions 147 grain. And as I explained in the last video, the reason why I'm gonna be using that is because that's the uh, ammo that I use for almost everything. Uh, it's my preferred ammo, I like it for competition. It's got a little bit lower recoil, and uh, I have thousands and thousands of rounds of it. So that's, again, this, uh, this testing, we're gonna do water, we're gonna dump it in the water for about, I don't know, five, 10 seconds, pull it out, hopefully shoot 10 rounds, sand, dirt, and then mud. So, uh, and one of the reasons why I'm doing this is because I kind of want to replicate what's going on in the military arms channel right now. I did that previously with the M&P. The M&P exceeded my expectations in, in his test. It failed in my test. It did, it did really well in my opinion. And uh, hopefully the Glock 17 will do as well. It's uh, legendary for its reliability. So uh, we are going to test it out. One thing that I do have to mention is I do have an agency arms uh, trigger face in there. Shouldn't make any difference because everything else is stock. But um, yeah, so we'll see if it fails. We'll see how it does. Let me get my Air Pro in real quick and uh, we'll start the test. There you go. All right, now a couple of things I wanna talk about before I start is uh, some of the comments from the last video. Thank you for telling me that you can take the film off the face shield. Uh, believe it or not, I've done a lot of stupid stuff in my life, but I've never been uh, really concerned about safety. So basically this face shield is just so I don't get mud on my face. Not really safety, but thanks for letting me know about that. Uh, also, this test isn't going to be an exact replica of the MAC test because I'm just pretty much going to put it through the gauntlet right away. I'm not going to cl clean and rinse it off after every single time because he already did that, and for this is just for my personal testing, so I'm going to do it a little bit different. So uh, here we go. Do the water first. I'll give you enough time between to back up to that way you can get closer shots. You ready? Okay. Sand. I just got bit by a bug. Got sand in the trigger group, it feels like. The trigger's getting harder to pull back. Well, let's press on. And if it gets to the point to where we're having too many malfunctions and uh, we just can't operate the gun, then obviously we're gonna rinse it out and retry it. We found all kinds of critters in here while we were doing this earlier. Apparently they like the dirt. Smash it in there, cover it up since all you bitched about that earlier. Okay. And yeah, I shake it. I shake it before every shot because that's what I would do in real life. Okay, we got one malfunction. Apparently it doesn't like the dirt. That's on the last round as well. We'll just get rid of that round. All right, now the mud test. Hit one in battery. A little bit of an iffy thing there. All right, so I'm trying not to get the barrel in it, although I did right there. And I'd, I'd like, a lot of people complained about the previous video that I didn't have enough mud on it, so I'm not sure how much more mud I can actually get on it. But as you can see there, there's definitely a pretty legitimate amount of mud there. That got me. Did it? Yeah. It got me a little bit too as it turned yeah. out. Okay. So as you can see, it uh, it worked great as it should. So what we're going to do now is we're going to rinse it off. We're going to load two more mags and we're going to run it through one more time just to see if we can get the damn thing to malfunction.
And we're gonna keep doing this continuously without a cut, just so you guys know that I'm not trying to cheat. Also, before the video, I forgot to mention that I lubed it up with uh, CLP, just like he did, and I brushed it down with a brush. Get our mags here. Cut. These are again, iron. Glock Factory magazines. I don't know if you can kind of see it. I think one of those is actually a Magpul mag, believe it or not. I do believe it. Do you? I do. Look at this crap. Now with the second test, we're gonna have a little bit more to deal with because I'm gonna be loading the rounds while my hands are dirty. And as you can see there, I'm getting water all up in the magazine as I'm loading the rounds. And for uh, some of you new shooters out there, you'll have to understand that one of the, mag the magazines is basically the heart of the firearm, at least one of them. And uh, if there's something wrong with the magazine, it's gonna cause a malfunction in the, in the pistol itself. So semi-automatic pistol is one of the downsides is kind of the magazine. And if you get it all fucked up, the gun's all fucked up. Also, our water test is gonna be kind of a half mud test now too. Kind of like a soupy creek bed kind of water, which is more likely what you're gonna drop in it anyway. I mean, what are you gonna do, get in a gunfight near a swimming pool? You know, I don't understand how you could drop it in clear water. I don't know. Anyway, on to the second test. So, load it up into the creek water. There's another wolf spider in there. Cool beans. Ah! Freaking grasshopper. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Okay, got a malfunction. Hmm. We broke it. Great. Is it because of the wet bullets, you think? I don't know. I'm sure uh, a viewer of mine will know. We really fucked it up though. That was the last round. Okay. Well, I shot 10 out of that. I did exactly the opposite of what I was going to say I was going to do. So uh, we'll try to rinse it out in the creek water one more time here. And we'll try the sand. Can't imagine this is going to go much better. We're having trouble getting into batteries, so I just think it's a lot of the sand and dirt and particulates and stuff probably running the slide. I mean, it's got to be all over the place. It's harder to pull the trigger now than before, obviously. You know, one of the downsides to a reliability test, this is obviously a hot weapon, but one of the downsides to a reliability test with, you know, semi-auto or basically any firearm is if you get debris and dirt inside the trigger group, you're going to kill any gun. You know. A lot of people are like AK, because an AK is basically the quintessential reliable semi-automatic firearm. And uh, even if you get stuff in the trigger group of an AK, you're gonna kill it as well. So you're, let's try this real quick. You're, okay. Oh man, see how hard the trigger was to pull there? I think we killed the Glock. Strip the mag. Think it's over for the Glock? Okay, well that pretty much ends the reliability test for the Glock, I think. Uh, to be fair, it made it all the way through the gauntlet before it uh, started to malfunction. And uh, one thing I didn't want to tell you until the end of the video, a little Easter egg, is that I'm gonna play some of the footage from the reliability test of this gun that we did last night. Uh, a disclaimer that should be note is that this passed with flying colors yesterday, if you remember right. And uh, what happened was, is that it got too dark and we couldn't even see at that point on the camera. And we could see it in real life, but on the camera we couldn't see uh, what was going on. So we had to stop filming and uh, redo it today. 
So we redid it today with a kind of a, I mean, obviously we, we rinsed it and we re-oiled it, but uh, it did fairly well, I think. I mean, honestly, it, it lasted the first, uh, first 40 rounds. I don't know how many rounds you're gonna be shooting after you get it dirty, but to me, it did pretty well. I'm not not that stoked that it uh, it died at the end, but uh, it did, I guess. Uh, do you have any further anything? Mm -mm. Okay, well, I guess what we're gonna do now is uh, we're we're gonna uh, film probably the Glock 43 going through the same gauntlet. Uh, that was probably the most requested uh, firearm that I had on the previous video. And uh, if you guys would like me to see another gun go through a liability test, I know a bunch of you asked for the, the 1911 9mm, and that just breaks my heart. Because I love that gun, and I don't know if I want to stick it in the mud. Uh, but maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll do a CZ or two. Uh, but just let me know in the comments. I'll probably see if I can get... I don't own a shield currently, but I've had them in the past. I'd like to get a hold of one of those and do the shield as well. That was also really requested. So uh, let me know. The water test. Put it in there until there's no more air left in it. Looks pretty good. And we'll see how she does. All right, pretty good so far. Next is a sand test. Wow, makes it hard to shoot. You ready? Yep. All right, we got a malfunction. Tap it, rack it. All right, we had one malfunction so far. Hard to see with all this shit. And it's dark dirt now all right we had a couple there with the dirt that doesn't bode well because the mud is going to be worse than that but we will uh, try her out here now that we've had a couple malfunctions what we're going to do is we're going to wash her off really quick Now we're going to try the mud. That's about as muddy as you can get. Alright, just didn't lock back. So we went through all 10 rounds of the mud relatively easily. That's kind of nice. I was really surprised how well that it did. All right, here we go. You can see that's basically mud now. <laughs> All right, did pretty well so far. Sand. Okay. Dirt. And this is what killed it last time, if you remember right. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Pass there. Hmm. Now the mud, my least favorite part. And you want to come over here and give this a good uh, close-up real quick. Well, it's you dark, can see so that it doesn't I'm not even fucking come around up. with the mud. But wait for me to get over here to shoot, you ready? please. Yes. We even gave it time to let that mud sit in. So, my final note is that it's getting way too dark out here to do videos. You were right about that. Hopefully this footage works. Uh, as you can see here, uh, this can't. clock. What? You can't see it. It's too dark. Oh, really? Put it over here in the light or something, maybe. 
Anyway, it doesn't matter, as long as they can see me. As you can see, the Glock is super, super dirty, and it still works really, really well. So my final thoughts are that, man, the M&P and the Glock, they have their reputations for a reason. You know, these are semi-automatic pistols that are extremely reliable. I would never, ever put my guns through anything like this. I mean, other than like going to the range or being out in the woods or something, you drop your pistol, let's say you live in a bayou or something like that. I really think these would work just as well. I mean, honestly, this is crazy. I couldn't imagine accidentally dropping my gun in anything worse than four pits of sand, dirt, water, and, and mud. So uh, it worked really, really well. I'm super impressed by it. Hopefully the footage comes out well because we're doing this towards the end of the night. We just didn't have enough time. We're busy. But uh, yeah, I uh, hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe if you liked the video. And uh, please help out your local homeless shelters and remember to recycle. Check you later.